So good afternoon, everybody. It's Pastor Mike here. We're getting ready for a midday prayer. Uh, I'm glad you could join us and uh, uh, hope you're enjoying this rainy, rainy, rainy Friday. Um, it's still a bit, it's actually, it's a, hopefully it's a beneficial rain. I think we're a little bit behind on rain. Uh, good afternoon, Diane. Good to see you with us. Um, and uh, as others join, Mike, uh, good to see that you're with us as well. And um, we'll give folks just another minute or so, a few minutes to gather up as we um, complete this week that God has um, um, that God has uh, given to us. Yeah, it is kind of chilly uh, around here too, wet and chilly uh, as well, Diane. So I see it's um, too chilly for you up there. So um, uh, good to see that Gene's with us as well. Uh, so we have... Um, where two or three or more are gathered in Jesus' name, Jesus uh, promises to be among us. And so as we um, are gathering together today on this Friday uh, before Good Shepherd Sunday, uh, we'll center ourselves as we breathe in the breath of God. And we breathe out our cares and our concerns. We breathe in the love of God. And we breathe out our doubts and our despairs. And we breathe in the life of God. And we breathe out our fears and our frustrations. So, as I said, it's, uh, this coming Sunday is um, Good Shepherd Sunday is what it's known as. Um, and um, one of, of course, one of the readings for Sunday is Psalm 23. Um, a favorite for a lot of folks. Uh, I'm going to read it today uh, from uh, the Tanakh, which is the Jewish study Bible. Uh, so different, slightly different translation. Um, so I'm going to read that. Uh, again, it's uh, Psalm 23 from the Tanakh. Um, the psalmist writes, The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me to water in places of repose. He renews my life. He guides me in right paths as befits his name. Though I walk through a valley of deepest darkness, I fear no harm, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread a table for me in full view of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My drink is abundant. Only goodness and steadfast love shall pursue me all of the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for many long years. So there we have um, uh, a different translation of a much the much beloved Psalm 23. Um, I think it hits a lot of the points I always like to make in that particular psalm, um, particularly when it talks about uh, goodness and steadfast love pursuing, right? I mean, it's, uh, I, I think our more um, uh, normal or NRSV or other translations will talk about God's goodness and mercy uh, following us, but they're, they are actually in pursuit of us. I think it, it gives us some solace in knowing that, um, that, uh, God is always uh, looking out for and chasing after us, um, even as we might be led astray. Um, the psalmist also, um, I mean, I, I had this vision of the psalmist actually singing this as a, as a praise song to God, right? It's a, it's a song that um, I think declares uh, praises to a, a, to a Lord and a God who um, is with us, who provides, who sustains, who... Um, uh, comes after us with goodness and mercy and love. Um, and I, I think uh, all this Good Shepherd, uh, upcoming Good Shepherd Sunday is a, it also tells us of a God who, um, who is most known to us as shepherd um, in Jesus himself, right? Where Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. In other words, I am, that's kind of uh, Greek for uh, God's name, Um so making this connection with um, Jesus being uh, God in the flesh. Uh, so uh, in Jesus, we, we most tangibly experience uh, the presence of God, the love of God, the grace of God. Uh, and it is in Jesus's uh, life and death and resurrection that we are given hope 
that there is nothing in this world that can separate us from from that loving God, from that God, our shepherd. And so as I, if we think of, uh, of Psalm 23 as being this wonderful praise song, um, our friends from Camp Hill have another praise song I, I like. I uh, hope you will find it um, uh, one that will touch your heart as well. Um, it's called Shout to the Lord. And so they're going to sing it for us. Um, and, and imagine that they're standing in the middle of those green pastures beside that um, water in places of repose, as the psalmist says, um, uh, and actually singing, praising, praying the words of that song, that song itself. So we'll listen to our friends from Camp Hill, and then we'll get back together to pray. As always, if you'd like to include someone in our prayers, um, please put their names in there, uh, and we will uh, include them in our prayer time together, okay? So here's our friends from Camp Hill. I'll be back in just a minute. Nothing compares to the promise I have in you. You talk about a faith statement. Um, 
it's a beautiful song. I remember the first time I ever heard that song. It um, somebody gave me a back in the days of cassette tapes um, of their uh, that their praise band at their congregation had made, and uh, I would listen to their singing on my trips back and forth to work every day. Back when I didn't walk to work, but actually drove in a car, um, and that one was one that always just grabbed me. Right. Um, so as we gather for prayer. Let us give praise to God. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, we um, are reminded every day of just how much you love us. Uh, sometimes those reminders come in, um, in beautiful vistas, uh, peaceful valleys, and in calm waters. Sometimes those reminders come in tables set before us. Uh, where your, your provision overflows its containers. Sometimes it's when we're at the lowest part of our life, when things seem to be mounting up, when there doesn't appear to be a lot of light. You will make yourself known to us. In all of those manifestations of your presence around us, we know that you are coming after us with a, a love that is beyond compare. Um, it is a love that you infuse into us and then ask that we share with our neighbors. Thank you for that gift of that love. We've got a list of folks um, that we're going to name. Some of them will be named in our hearts. Some of them are named with our lips who need to feel your presence and maybe some valleys that they are in at this moment. Um, so bring your healing presence into those spaces and surround Bev Diaz, Sam, Carolyn, Sarah and Michael, Kathleen Bolden, Ralph, Jack, Martin, Laura Dareth, Terry, Ben Lehman, Howard Fails, Rebecca Neal, Glenn Hardesty, Jane Cox, Lauren Mueller, Sabrina, Ryan and Dave, Lynn Smith, Linda Heitzelman, Peggy Helwig, Ebony, Ruby Gostel, Megan Yunkin, Katie Lawrence, Tracy Strimple, Paul and Dawn, Kelly, Brian Shaw, Gail, Carlos Jimenez, Lynn Anderson, Keith Wagner, Jeff, Rose, Jan Hill, Jerry, and those that we name aloud or silently in our hearts at this time. as we continue, God, to live into the reality of the resurrection, a reality that we celebrate not just on a single day for Easter, but during the season of Easter and every day of our lives. We give you thanks for the promise that comes from that resurrection that we will always be um, able to live in your presence, able to live surrounded by your grace and your love. And help that promise console the hearts of those who are grieving this day, um, Maybe their grieving is new, and maybe it's, it's been there for a long time. Console them, comfort them, let them feel your presence. And now, God, as uh, we wrap up our prayer time, we pray the words that Jesus taught his disciples to pray when they said, Lord, teach us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever mm. and ever. Amen. And now as God's people, as we wrap up our time together, we breathe in the breath of God. And we breathe out our tension and our turmoil. And we breathe in the love of God. And we breathe out our haste and our apprehensions. 
and we breathe in the life of God. And we breathe out our work and our worry. And now, um, just a couple of announcement kind of things. Uh, Pastor, Pastor Tamika will be with you again on Monday and Wednesday for Midday Prayer. I'll see you again on Friday. Uh, don't forget, we have worship on um, Sunday, 930, uh, both on site and um, online uh, from the worship center. And then we also have worship on Wednesday evenings, 7 o'clock p.m. via Zoom. You can get the links to that um, from our uh, emails and from our calendar page, you can get to from firstlutheranec.org. Um, and until then, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Uh, it's so good to be with you all, and uh, I'll be with you next week as well. God bless. Have a great weekend.